Howdy y'all, round the wheel here. Please pardon the resolution weirdness with this game. Uh, I just have it set to what it's gonna be when the game is inside a level. So cutscenes and menus are gonna look shoved off to the left. Um, not to put too fine a point on it, but just deal with it. It is what it is. We won't be on menus and cutscenes for very long. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it at the resolution it is when it's in menus. But anyway, here it is, Jazz Jackrabbit. I have played this game on here before. I'm playing it again because as of today, when this video is being posted, this game is 30 years old. And I have some thoughts about it. Um, this is gonna be a normal playthrough, of course, as usual, but, but if you watch any video in the series, it should be this one because I have some thoughts about it. It's gonna be a little bit rambly, uh, but we're just gonna play the first world here. It's gonna take some getting used to with the keyboard controls, but I think I got it. Going into Turtle Terror. We are gonna be playing the CD version of the game, but the core game with the first six episodes came out on, depends on who you listen to. Wikipedia says August 1st, the GOG website says uh, July 31st. Let's just call the whole thing off. So there we go. I got my bird, we can go. So Jazz Jackrabbit, a 30 year old game which is crazy to think about. That Jazz Jackrabbit is getting old, I'm getting old. But this is kind of an interesting game. People love it and it's they think it's great and it's awesome. But not once in 30 years has there ever been a whisper from anyone officially involved about remaking this game, remastering this game. Nothing, not a not a single solitary whisper. And I think the person who would have to spearhead that kind of thing is Cliff Blazinski himself. Cliff Blazinski, AKA Cliffy B, AKA Dude Huge, whatever you want to call him, whatever he wants to call himself. This was his, I believe, first major game. It might've been his first game period, but it was, it was at the very least his first major game. And when I was a kid, I didn't have much of a point of reference for this game. Uh, obviously, uh, you have a furry animal that runs fast. So the obvious comparison is to Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, he runs fast. Other than the, the major difference between him and Sonic is he's got a gun, whereas Sonic can bounce on people's heads. Jazz is not a head bouncer. But yeah, the, the obvious... The obvious comparison is to Sonic the Hedgehog. But I am older now, I'm wiser. Uh, with with the benefit of hindsight, I have more of kind of my head wrapped around the video game culture of the time. And, and you know, what was going on in the world of games. And I no longer feel, uh, I used to call this kind of not really a ripoff, maybe an homage, or maybe just trying to do what Sonic was doing. I used to say this game was trying to be a Sonic game. I no longer believe that. Nowadays, I believe that Jazz Jackrabbit was trying to be an Amiga game. Uh, it has some inspiration from Zool, the ninja of the nth dimension. That's the pretty big one. But, but yeah. Jazz is trying to be an Amiga game. You can kind of hear it in its soundtrack. Uh, Amiga games, if they had nothing else, and very frequently they didn't, uh, they always had spectacular music. And I think the music was the first thing that clued me in as to what this kind of game was trying to be. Uh, up until this point in video game history, uh, it was a bunch of ad lib and sound blaster type sound. Uh, very simple, very based around one sound chip, but I think this was trying to do what Amiga games were doing. And I think it was trying to have a more dynamic, cooler soundtrack. And it very much succeeded. Like, this game sounded like nothing else at the time. It also didn't look like anything else at the time. Uh, PC games did not run this fast. At the time. They were very, like, if you were playing a platformer on a PC, it was very slow, it was very chunky, it was probably Commander Keen, uh, although I did have a few others on my computer, ow. 
But yeah, I think it was I think it was trying to be more of an Amiga game. The bright colors, you know. And when Amiga games were fast, they were kind of out of control, I think. I would say. Uh, you play a game like uh what's a what's an Amiga game where the main character moves really fast? Maybe something like maybe like Pugsy or Wiz and Liz, I can't quite remember. Any Amiga games I've played have been pretty heavily filtered through the Genesis. But this has kind of the same color and the same... The color design is a lot better here, I think. But... But it has kind of the same garishness as a... As an Amiga game. And yeah, just overall, I think that's what it was going for. Amiga games... I think it was trying to be a better version of a standard Amiga platform. And I think it really succeeded in that because this is one of the few games in that style that I still like playing today. I'm still having a great time. I'm wrapping my head around the, I want that little bullet trinket up there. I can't seem to make that third jump. I'm, I'm, I keep hedging my bets on that final jump. But yeah, this is very much, this is more trying to be, this is not trying to be Sonic the Hedgehog. It is taking a few, I think, attitude notes from Sonic the Hedgehog because you just had to do that in the 90s. But I also, I really think just at the core, at the core, it's trying to do the Commodore Amiga thing. And it's just the cleanest version of that that I can remember. Amiga games do not hold up. Commodore Amiga games, it was mostly a European computer. It didn't get a lot of penetration in the American market, but it was just, I don't know. I don't really know what to say other than that, other than, other than I understand what was going on a little better now than I did then. And yeah, there, there is some Sonic inspiration in there. But mostly, this is a Commodore Amiga game. And what I have played of games of Amiga, speaking of Rabbit Stink, uh, I'm pretty much of the mind that most Amiga games stink, except for their soundtracks. Uh, Amiga music is legendary. Everything else about Amiga games is pretty hot garbage. Um, there are some classics in there, of course. My favorite game of all time, Limix, started out on the Commodore Amiga. In its purest form, it was an Amiga game. Anything up against a wall that I need to know about? Maybe something up here? I don't know. All right, let's blast away. Nothing doing up here. I don't know why I'm stopping to collect trinkets in this level. We're going to play the secret level today, too. But... But yeah, this is probably, in my opinion, the best game in the Amiga tradition. And it is 30 years old, uh, depending on depending on who you believe. And believing Wikipedia is a whole other ball of wax. Wikipedia is actually, I feel, generally pretty trustworthy. It's very well vetted, but that's a conversation for another time. Wikipedia is probably one of the top two websites on the internet. It's one of the only websites that isn't trying to, like, constantly get your money with ad dollars or something, posting ads all over its website. It's not trying to do that. Wikipedia is just trying to give you information sourced by volunteer editors. Uh, we will come back around. This one will kind of circles. So, but yeah, that's a conversation for another time, really. I don't really care how anyone does or doesn't feel about Wikipedia. I probably care more how you feel about Jazz Jackrabbit, honestly. Actually, I do care how you feel about Wikipedia. Um, anytime Wikipedia says to give them money when they're asking for two, three dollars, you should do it. Just unequivocally, you should give them money because they're still, they're one of the few websites still committed to the vision of the internet that was that was around at the beginning of like the 90s when the internet was really starting to go mainstream 
they're still committed to that. They're still committed to the internet being a good place where information is free and democracy reigns supreme. And I think that's worth supporting. So when Wikipedia asks you to give them $3, by God, do it. That's Roundy's PSA for the day. Give Wikipedia money when they ask. It's $3. You have it. Don't tell me you don't. All right, where are we? We're almost done with this level. We're just kind of going in big ass circles. This is kind of a different secret level. You get to play as the bird. You don't get to do that in any others. In fact, there's only one other secret level, I think, where you get to play. I think I've picked up everything. There's only one other secret level. And this is the only secret level with a boss, I'm pretty sure. Uh, unless I have remembered something incorrectly. All right, get down. Not too far in the face and blast away. That turtle just kind of follows you around. I said a lot today, but happy 30th birthday, Jazz Jackrabbit. We'll start playing it more like normal next time. I'll start talking about the game while I play it. But I had some things to ramble about today. Jazz Jackrabbit, Amiga game, non-preal. It was a PC game, but it had the spirit of an Amiga game. And we love it. 